Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Today I'm gonna be playing part two with this, um, making this cheater super duper salty because he thinks I'm cheating on Joebrick. So right now, we got ourselves a train right over here. Let's go ahead and just jump onto here real quick and, uh, rob this thing. So, as usual, we go over here and open up this door, open up the vault. Typical train robbery stuff. Let's go ahead and just jump down in here. I'm still my undercover fake police officer thing and for some whatever reason, that's what's making Adam calling me a stupid cheater, a no clipper, whatever, and he's trying to, like, get a SEMO to ban me, which, I mean... If you guys know a Simo, he wouldn't give me the uh, role if I was a uh, actual cheater. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glitch out of this uh, train. He's gonna go ahead and just keep on going that way. Okay, Ethan, take me over here to the J store. All right, so jewelry store over here is wide open. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump down over here, get in here real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, J store, go. All right, Mr. Adam, where are you? Okay, you you calling me like um super cheater, okay? And I went in here legit. Now wh where are you? If you thought I was um bad, then come and get me, okay? Whoa 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 whoa! Hold up, hold up! This police officer just glitched in here. Not good. This guy over here is a bit of a cheater. He's a bit of a cheating assimo over here, okay? This guy, over look at him. Look how laggy this guy is. He's literally no clipping. Okay, and he's shotgun spamming as well. Okay, and he yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of this guy. Boom. Yeah. Okay. That's a criminal. Okay, I thought it was like some guy probably like cheating up there on the roof. All right, so let's go ahead and arm ourselves. Go ahead and go through here. Who knows if Adam glitched in here? Because, I mean, judging by the type of guy or cop he is, I think he's probably going to glitch in here. So let's go ahead, go through here very cautiously, okay? Because um, I believe I had a volt bike when I went on the train, but like, a, you know, train makes you lose all your vehicles. So yeah, let's go ahead. Adam is in the default blue helicopter down there. He's probably just doing whatever. Okay, let me just tell Ethan, pick me up at the left, okay? I'm gonna be at the left gate over here. Hopefully, Ethan comes over here and gets me a ride. Alright, so here we go. We just made it out of the uh, jewelry store, and here is Mr. Ethan right down over here. Is he gonna give me a ride, okay? Uh, you know what? I mean, he's in a driver's seat. Let's go ahead, get over here, turn in our uh, jewelry store money real quick, and immediately go trade this thing out for a Volt Bike, because we need a Volt Bike in order to uh, be slick, fit through tight corners, drift, and do all that funny stuff to escape these camping cops. Alright, so I'm in the Volt Bike. Museum just opened up, so let's go ahead. Rocket Fuel, Volt Bike, all the way over here. Okay, uh-oh. We got a camping cop. Okay, at least we bounced, okay? Because that would have been a big nightmare if we had to face all these camping cops up there. Because, yeah, these cops, man, they just love camping. All right, I think the threat has um, mostly gone away. So this guy just pulled a dynamite. Let's go ahead, jump down in here. Boom, just like this. And let's go ahead, take all the museum items, and then go pull the lever. All right, so here we go. We got ourselves Ethan's helicopter over here. Okay, come on. Go up. Okay, keep on going. All right. I think, um, yeah, I don't, I don't take any ragdoll when I have a museum back open. So that is perfect. And now, all we gotta do, get our volt bike and just rocket fuel all the way over here, away from all those camping cops over there because nobody likes camping cops unless they are a camping cop, which, I mean, then it's kind of like you can't really do a fair comparison. All right, so the good thing about volt bike is that you can just go ahead right over here and just go right in between those bars, which basically means police officers that are not in volt bikes will have to slow down and, like, jump out of their vehicle to get you. And plus, volt bike has a very, very small um, E-circle um, radius, which is amazing. And it also goes really fast as well. So unlike Bugatti, they can't really um, eject you. Let's go ahead and go over to, um, I believe we robbed the JSO, we robbed the museum. And it's time to go rob the train now. All right, so here we go. We got ourselves the train right over here. I'm on full screen so I can actually do my uh, glitch. That way we can uh, go through all these uh, train cars and stuff. Maybe that's what he thinks I'm like no clipping, but it's honestly just a glitch. I mean, even Asimo knows that because like I showed him how to do the train glitch inside of his train testing game. So let's go ahead, get over here, open up this train, and just go rob. All right, look at who we got here. We got a blue helicopter. That could only mean one thing. It's Adam. Well, actually, we got a helicopter right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bail out, and if this helicopter is wide open, no, it is not. Okay, where's the closest vehicle? There, there's a police officer right over there, okay? We're just gonna, like, give him a bit of damage. Okay, Ethan, I need you to take me to Volt Bike. Okay, so it looks like people are going in over here, okay? We gotta go fast, come on. Come on, punch, punch, punch the thing. Okay, no, 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 is that a police? No, that's not a police officer, holy cow. No, this is the police officer. This is the police officer right over here. He's not even at him. Okay, at least he's not at him. Dude, break me out. Break me out right now. No, this camping... Literally camping. I mean, sometimes you are gonna get faced with like these toxic campers that go into J store way before like any criminals do. And what's even more annoying is this guy's literally switching back and forth between a criminal and cop. I don't know why, but like he just does. And so here's Mr. Ethan. Let's go ahead, get in his vehicle. Look at Mr. Adam over here. <laughs> Man, Mr. Adam is just such a salty, like, police officer. I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's just so salty. 
it's not even funny, okay? Yeah, Adam, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, come on. Let's go ahead and do a quick team swap, okay? Now you're not gonna arrest me, okay? Because I just team swap. And I think he's gonna call me a teleporter because of this. We got ourselves uh, this random Nara person over here. Vault bike, okay? I need you to take me to the vault. And why I like using a rope is because police officers can't arrest you if you go on a rope. Because it's not technically a seat. And you don't get guilty for using it. Alright, so museum's wide open. I saw somebody over there. We parked our vault bike right outside over here in the perfect spot. Alright, Mr. Uh, awesome Boy. Pull the thing. Perfect. And I'm gonna have one of my helicopter boys over there drop down a rope as well. Because um, it's always a very useful when you got a police officer dropping ropes through here. Because you can just uh, skip the... Uh, whole pulling thing and criminals not listening to you nonsense take me to the vault bike come on go all right and another thing about the uh, museum bag is whenever you have it out you don't get ragdolled so that means i can just jump from that rope from like uh, quite a bit up but not like all the way up because you still do take fall damage note that i said you don't get ragdolled but you do still take fall damage so that means you can just jump from a decent height grab your vault bike and go and the police officers will always ragdoll if you go from that height especially if they're in the heli or something like that but anyway here's mr no uh, whoever i think that's uh either global or whoever that guy maybe it's adam who knows but let's go ahead but even if we missed out we can still go ahead and just go around here go through the little gap in between the uh, wall over here and the vault bike is super narrow super like short and yeah so we can basically just uh, fit through anything over here let's go ahead and grab these two guns we have some form of a uh, anti-police officer defense now and here we go here's a heli mr adam okay he's he's all the way over here that's not good okay he he's on that heli okay we gotta glitch him out okay he's stuck all right mr ethan i need you okay come on come on let me get in your heli okay perfect take me to the volt bike okay so for some whatever reason no volt bike spawning i'm gonna go ahead and just steal this guy's heli I believe the next thing is to rob is the train anyways so the train has already passed through like over half of the map but we can still get in here and get ourselves as much money as we can so let's go ahead and just chill inside of this train hopefully mr adam doesn't notice us and yeah let's just rob it you know what's kind of funny is this guy's literally saying everyone makes this hacker named user rage quit guess what i don't hack and i don't rage quit the only time i leave the game is whenever i have to go and like can't play jailbreak anymore so you know what I can just let him, I'm just gonna let him, uh, you know, like, rage and be salty, because honestly, haters give, like, the people that they're hating on a lot of views, okay? Like, surprisingly, it actually works that way, but I don't even know why, I mean, I guess thanks, Adam, but anyway, let's go ahead and go over to the jewelry store. And what I find kind of funny is he's literally calling me hacker every time I rob a store. So this guy, in his mind, basically, whenever a criminal robs a store, they're cheating, which, yeah... And they say they're affiliated with Asimo, which I totally am gonna believe, right? You know, so let's go ahead, just get over here and punch this thing, okay? Criminal, get in, perfect. Don't let any police officers in. Okay, so this guy is one of those dingbat, like, salty ragers that literally, like, does not understand logic at all. He's saying robbing is cheating. Every time I rob a store, he's calling me a cheater. But then there's other people in here robbing with me, and he's not calling any of those guys cheaters. So he's basically just like trying to get attention, which I mean, I'll give him the attention, but not the attention that he wants. He never specified what kind of attention he wants, but he seems like he wants a good one. You know what? I'll just give him the bad one. So let's go ahead. Okay, come on. Unragged all. Bacon, get up. All right, get the ATV. ATV is still fairly decent. Okay, it might be a bit wobbly, but still it has a very, very, very small um handcuff uh, bust out radius. But, um, can I get my money? Okay, there we go. We got our stuff for money. And what I find very interesting is Adam hasn't even caught up with the trend I'm using a Volt Bike for literally everything. And he hasn't been able to arrest me throughout the entire duration of this video. He's typing in all caps. He's like, that's why we leave Jailbreak. But guess what? He wants me to rage quit. But in this, like, sense over here, he's the one that's gonna rage quit. So I'll just, like, sit back, relax, and watch this guy, like, cry all he wants and rage quit himself. Alright, so we managed to take over Mr. Adam's favorite camping spot over here at the museum. So let's go ahead, run over here, grab the donut. Okay, Adam is nowhere in sight. He's literally saying, I quit for gear six months. Not my fault he quit. Not my fault he's getting salty that he's the one quitting himself instead of me. Yeah, I'm totally sorry that I, um, you know, made you rage quit because, um, you wanted me to rage quit and that's just not gonna happen because you're gonna be the one that rage quits first, okay? Just... Yeah, the truth hurts, man. Alright, so here we go. Got ourselves onto this guy's uh, rope. I'm gonna go ahead, as usual. I'm gonna go and just grab my Volt Bike once again and just rocket fuel halfway across the map while um, Mr. Adam just screams all he wants in the chat. I swear, this guy's gonna be the next Zonic if he starts making a YouTube, which I highly doubt he will, but I mean... We can still call him a Zonic because he's just being like super duper dumb and like literally clueless of what's exactly happening. Alright, so jewelry store just opened up, but there's one big problem over here. Piece of camping, no lives, okay? This guy, no. Come on, open up, get in. Perfect. Only three criminals. That's amazing, okay? The other cops, he's like running way over there to like the Bugatti spawn. I don't know what he's doing, but at least Adam just ranting in the chat, calling me a hacker for robbing a jewelry store. 
because he literally is so brain dumb, about as smart as a flat earth theorist, but I mean, it's not my problem, he's a flat earth theorist. So yeah, I mean, he can think whatever he wants to think. We've got free will and Roblox, okay? I mean, unless uh, Roblox must get salty at you, but then like, that's a whole nother story. All right, so let's go ahead and just uh, go out of the jewelry store real quick, and then I'll show you this guy's account because people are saying that he literally made it today just to be a stinking troll, okay? So <laughs> clearly, that explains why he's a super duper broken player and he only has bacon hair. So yeah, let's go ahead real quick and just uh, run along the center here as usual so we don't go ahead and get oofed because uh, that would not be good. I'm pretty sure Adam by now has been camping at the top of this J store. He's going political. Let's not like open the chat right now. That is like literally a free get banned from Roblox ticket, which I highly doubt that guy would care about me still. It's going to be kind of funny just getting this troll banned. So let's go ahead real quick, get inside of our volt bike as usual, like third, fourth, fifth time. I don't even know anymore. Let's go ahead, just drive over here, get ourselves a jewelry store money, and I'll go ahead and show you this guy's account. So Adam the nub underscore nub, I, I believe that is his account name. All right, so right Right over here you can see the only thing he's got was the uh, bank badge he literally made his count like a month ago and all he's done is troll and he doesn't have any other badges besides the one police one so obviously he's a target or camping no life because he only has one police officer badge and nothing else and museum's wide open right now so i'm gonna go ahead and get over here into the museum i'll park my uh, volt bike on the side right over here so i have a quick and easy escape route and they already pulled a lever don't even close museum don't even close no don't close Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and just come over here, grab Mr. Bad CC and just a chicken off the wall. I don't know why they robbed the painting on the opposite side of the museum, but I mean, whatever works, whatever works, man. So let's go ahead and get out from that side. Although I think Adam might actually be camping over there, but I'm gonna go ahead and just open up this door and I don't see him. So yeah, let's go ahead, grab our volt bike, make sure we lock it, unlike Freecraft, and let's go rob this museum for the final time today. Alright, so here we go, we're at the criminal base, and let's go ahead and just go over to here because there's a helicopter and the other thing over there, and there are police officers everywhere, but the volt bike is small enough to go underneath the monster truck, which is amazing. We got ourselves for money, this guy literally reporting <laughs> that I am uh, in robbing stores in jailbreak, which, yeah, <laughs> totally is gonna get me banned, right? I mean, who knew that I'm, um, like, just roasting this some um, dumb kid over here was so interesting? But I mean, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe, let me know in the comment section down below what other things you guys want me to do in Jailbreak as usual. And also check out the merch and everything, link in the description down below, and I'll see you guys next time.